Welcome back. As Nigeria battles to get out of the present economic recession, the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, is advocating for the diversification of the economy with special focus on agriculture. Now speaking during the launch of the Barracks Youth Empowerment through Agriculture Program at the Air Force Base in Kaduna State, he says the initiative is geared towards youth empowerment and job creation. Represented by the Chief of Policy and Plans, the NAF Headquarters, Air Vice Marshal James Boom, he explained that the inauguration of Youth Empowerment Program is a testimony and determination of the force to key into the federal government's policy on economic diversification to other non-oil sectors. Designed to engage youths in more productive ventures, particularly those living in the barracks to enable them live meaningful lives independent of their parents and guardians. The Barak Youth Empowerment through Agricultural Program has seen its list of participants of the Air Force Base Kaduna grow to about 100 in one month. I'm with the Chief of Air Staff's vision. The Commander 335 Base Service Group, Air Commodore Belo Gaba, says the initiative has continued to drive home the message of self-reliance amongst youths in the barracks. Today the corporation has well over 98 registered members in less than one month. Of these registered members, 35 are engaged in fish farming, 25 poultry, 26 livestock, an animal husbandry and 12 are into crop farming. It is worthy of mention that all these efforts are geared towards creating an enabling environment for the Nigerian Air Force personnel and their dependents. A representative of the Chief of Air Staff asks parents and guardians to regularly monitor the progress of the awards to track the success rate of the program. This will serve as a medium through which the youth could access agricultural loans and credit facilities offered by this bank of agriculture and other similar agencies. I am also glad to note that series of lectures are being organized by the command using resource persons from the Bank of Agriculture and the Bank of Industries to sensitize the youth. The beneficiaries say they are grateful for the opportunity the training presents to them. Your vision and unquantifiable efforts towards making the, the youth useful has greatly encouraged and given us hope that we can be self-reliant as well as resourceful, thereby adding value to our community and the nation at large. The program, which opens for relatives of Air Force personnel and residents of host communities, started in Kaduna with 25 youths as inception in August and now has 98 registered members with 35 engaged in fish farming, 25 in poultry, 26 in livestock and 12 in crop farming. In the South-South, the Cross River State Government has begun campaigns to its border communities in some local government areas of the state and that's in order to ensure that no new form of illness is transmitted between Nigeria and Cameroon. According to the State Commissioner for Health, Inyang Ashibong, there are presently over 40 notable diseases in Nigeria which are epidemic prone and this calls for strengthening of the international border between the two countries. She says the campaign became necessary following activities between both countries at the borders and the increasing rate of new cases of diseases which can be preventable if detected on time. To collaborate and make sure we come into the borders, sensitize people and make sure that no illness is crossed across the border, the Cameroon from Cameroon to Nigeria and also vice versa from Nigeria to Cameroon. So they should have, we are just coming here to tell them to have a high index of suspicion for these illnesses. We should be very, very observant, very watchful. Watch out for the telltale signs of these illnesses, like the yellowness of the eye, yellow fever, the floppiness 
awareness of the limb and very particularly prevention because by the time you're watching out for the signs of the disease the disease is already there so but we want to talk about the primordial form of prevention when the disease has not occurred and the goal of uh, collaboration in this um, exercise in this particular regard actually is to ensure that all diseases that we are watching out for are recorded or are detected on time, investigated on time, and thereby taking action to uh, stem the spread of the disease. So the message is simple. Everybody, fathers, mothers, children, you know, um, border post operators, the security operatives at all levels, both the Nigerian border and the Cameroon border, should be watchful for all the diseases we've talked about today. And with that report, that's where we leave it for this edition of News Across Nigeria, where North, South, East and West, we tell you what's happening now across the country. I'm Olumide Macaulay from all of us here. Thank you for watching. See you next time.